Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of the latest breaking news and current events. EF1 tornado rips through South Fort Myers with estimated 95 miles per hour winds, $500,000 in damages. A tornado ripped through South Fort Myers Tuesday, smashing pool cages and felling trees onto cars while winds gusts nearly reached hurricane status. At least one person was injured Tuesday, according to interviews conducted by the news press on the scene. We were able to get our storm survey completed and we did find a short-lived tornado, said Austin Flannery, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Ruskin. We are estimating the winds to be 95 miles per hour and the tornado was on the ground just over a mile and about two minutes on the ground. Flannery said the initial damage estimate is around $500,000. Wind damage could be seen in the Eagle Ridge community, where pool cages were crushed and outdoor furniture littered across lawns. A palm tree crushed a car at one home. Strong wind snapped trees and signs and damaged pool cages and roofs. You guys are getting really strong winds down there and it's not associated with rain, Flannery said earlier in the day. There was a gust of 77 miles per hour at Punta Gorda Airport. Katrina Kusp of Seattle, visiting the Twin Eagle home of her mother and father-in-law Bill and Bonnie Kusp, was cut by flying glass when a portion of the home's shutters crashed through a window. Her husband Aaron Kusp said his wife may also have a fractured bone in her hand. About 6.30 this morning it came through and we were sleeping, it felt like an earthquake, he said. The couple and their three kids, ages 6, 7 and 15, had just flown in to be with his parents. The next thing you know something broke the window and came through and the air just gushed right through and it was almost like a suction, he said. It sounded like a freight train, just like they say in the movies. It reminded me of the twister at Universal Studios. Kusp said his wife's hand was smashed in a door, and they were on their way to the hospital. Lee County Electric Cooperative representatives were not available for comment Tuesday, but a company phone message said more than 5,000 customers were without power as of 12.25 p.m. Tuesday. We are experiencing multiple outages due to severe weather, a phone message says. There is no estimate time of restoral for any area. In other news, no blue-green algae, no red tide, river, coastal conditions looking better this fall. Florida's sea cows will soon make their way inland for cooler winter months Lake O water levels high, what does it mean for SWFL? Wintering species making their way to southwest Florida for the season. Cleanup efforts started immediately Cleanup efforts started immediately Tuesday along Twin Eagle Lane and at Eagle Ridge Golf Course, which was also damaged. Roofers and other contractors could be seen going house to house offering estimates and taking count of damages to a number of homes, some with light damage, some with major structural issues. Roof damage was the most prevalent problem, with Lanai issues a close second. Susan Johnson and her son, Todd Johnson, were not home Tuesday morning when high winds from a possible tornado damaged their Twin Eagle Lane home. But Todd Johnson's girlfriend, Tina Richards was. It sounded like a plane, because we're near the airport, Richards said. And it started getting really loud and I said, no, that's a tornado. She jumped out of bed, ran into a bathroom and hunkered down while she heard debris pepper the ranch home. It was the second time for Richards, she experienced a tornado once before, in Cape Coral. The Johnson home suffered roof and severe lanai cage damage, about the same as dozens of other homes along Twin Eagle Lane. Jeff Haw of 7301 Twin Eagle had the misfortune to buy a new SUV last week. Tuesday morning the vehicle lay squashed under a palm tree that fell on the middle of the vehicle. Most of the heavier rain stopped early in the morning, but the winds continued to rage for hours afterward. Flannery said meteorologists use a litany of factors to determine when a storm is an actual tornado or just a very heavy storm. For a tornado, to decide that we look at the pattern of the damage, Flannery said. You look for clues, damage over a wide area or is it confined space? Are there trees damaged and did they fall in different direction or fall in the same line? And then from those indicators we can determine the actual wind speed. Damage is seen Tuesday, December 21, 2021, on Twin Eagle Lane at Eagle Ridge in South Fort Myers after a strong storm moved through the area. Mike Braun, the news press the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office posted a tweet Tuesday that read, 
Folks, this weather is no joke. Please do not go outside. Three of the interior rooms at the home of Manju Bose along Twin Eagle Lane were scoured by the wind Tuesday after windows were busted out by debris. My late husband was a fighter pilot in India, she said. You know the sound like a jet. Bose, 70, heard the wind rising and hid herself in a walk-in closet. It was bad, she said, as she walked through her debris-strewn home, vowing, I am not giving up. She was amazed, she said after walking out on her lanai to view the damage and finding his table set with glassware untouched. US-41 bridges over the Peace River were closed part of Tuesday. The strong front will bring cooler, drier temperatures to the region over the next few days, but highs will again approach 80 degrees on Christmas Day. Recent highs have been a little above average, at times peaking at 85 degrees. The air has been humid as well. This front, however, will bring some relief Wednesday through Friday as lows will be in the upper 50s to 60s. As you get toward the weekend we're looking at highs in the upper 70s, right around 80 degrees and lows around 60 degrees, Flannery said. It should be a really nice day overall. The average high for Christmas Day in Fort Myers is 76 degrees with a low of 56 degrees, Flannery said. It was warm last week and you could feel the humidity more, he said. The humidity values aren't going to be as high for Christmas. It should feel better, but there may be some fog as we warm back up.